Uh, hello everybody, and this is uh, Simon Flavel playing uh, Minecraft Classic, well not quite, uh, Minecraft 1.4.6 here, running NBX Lite and the Old Days mod, and basically we are going to get started on a new world, um, been doing a little bit of practice, not too much though, and we're going to reboot mine classic. Oh, not feeling too good. Uh, it's just been one of those days. Pardon. Um, so, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a finite map here and I'm going to uh, generate. A 64 depth map, uh, 256 by 256. Uh, type. Um, I'll go with inland uh, or inland or island. Uh, island. And theme. Um, and I'll just stick with the normal. And this is going to be hardcore mode. So uh, this, is gonna, this is actually one of the first times I've played. Hardcore, so this is going to be quite different. Oh my goodness, the tree, the the colors are already sending me back into nostalgia mode. I actually joined uh, Minecraft back when it was back when it was classic. Um, you know, lots of people were getting into it and stuff, and things like that and it was um it was pretty fun even if I wasn't that great at building houses like everybody else was at that time or, or like everybody else seemed to be at the, the, at the time um but I guess that's what happens uh, oh geez that is bright <laughs> so what usually happened is that saplings out of these. So what usually happens is I just made like an underground place that was just like out of the way of everybody, everybody else. And from there I just kind of um... Well I don't know, I, I always just... Oh, here we go. I always love making um... What was that? Oh, it's a cow. I always, I always loved making underground bases actually because um, I guess because it could be hidden in uh, under the surface that nobody would know that you were there. That was, I, and I just like the appeal too. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what it is with me and um, underground wooden bases. But that's why I started with that in the Deadwood server. And that's why, and then of course right, I covered up my home in that in that one video, and I just left it like that for a while. Um, oh, that is a lot of saplings. So yeah, this is obviously a finite map, so there are a lot of different, there are a couple of different things that I need to do differently besides the whole hardcore mode thing. And one of those things is definitely like preserving. Materials, so like getting, uh, getting saplings if I can, uh, keeping sheep alive. Well, I mean, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to do breeding because I mean this doesn't block any of the new mechanics. So if I wanted to, I could actually start a farm and breed these animals. Um, and I pro will probably need to in the future. Uh, breeding. Uh, farms. That was a wolf I just saw in the distance. It was interesting. Um, yeah, so like, it's it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be a mix of old and new, basically, and basically just collecting all the wood that I can at the moment because. 
will need it, and I'll need the saplings in the future. Oh. Oh wow, this... This geomet- this land mass is just strange. Oh. Also, that was a dumb idea, I'm just saying. Also, there's no hunger, so my health doesn't automatically regenerate like you would think. And But that means I can also just sprint infinitely. But this means I'm gonna have to be a lot. I'm gonna have to be very careful with myself. So, as usual, we'll see how things go. Um, Saplings. Or, the, as, or does it just not like me breaking it? Break it? Breaking them myself? Jeez. Uh, oh, I see some squids there. <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna have to find a place to settle down, or I could just reuse that that thing there, which I'll probably I'll actually do for at least the first night, just so I have somewhere to be. Oh yeah, and here's a little, uh... Actually, no. I don't know, like, I... I feel like I should not use beds during this LP, but at the same time, like, I want to get rid of some of the boring stuff that will happen during these LPs, like waiting at the night or something. So, I think the rule is that I will not use a bed, uh, not on, well, not on camera, but generally when there's nothing when there's absolutely nothing to do and yeah <laughs> uh, uh, I should probably actually start making tools and replant these saplings soon enough anyway uh, let's yeah let's make some tools so we'll make ourselves of course pickaxe an axe and a sword. There. Oh, and a, and a door. Because I do believe zombies can still break doors. All right. Hello. Back from the great beyond. How'd it go? Yeah, it was good. We um, had about a dozen mums. Okay. So, considering it was just the first one back, the new venue, and all the rest, it's all good. Awesome. I'm very pleased. I didn't even have to do all the work. Cool. So, any phone calls or anything? No. Cool. I have been listening out, don't worry. I uh, appreciate it. Because I expect um, if you to ring back and tell me that I have or haven't gained employment. Alright. Um, uh, I haven't seen her. <laughs> yeah, Dad's Dad's been out for a while. He's tr um, oh wow, this is I don't know any coal. Well, let's uh, dig out as much of this as seems necessary. hardly see now so I should probably just head back and come back later when I have coal. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna need to crop that out but that's okay. I just need to figure out how I'll ask to you yell later. Um, 
Alright, so yeah, I... Oh, look at the salt gravel texture. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, so, um, while this is cl classic, it's also using some alpha and beta mechanics, and the list of mobs that are allowed to spawn haven't changed. In fact, they'll probably all spawn with a reason, because there are no biomes here. See if I go to press the B there is no biomes. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. I'll just uh grab some of this coal. Also this is an interesting cave, but I don't think this is a good time to explore it. Nonetheless I will make some torches and probably just put a torch there. Uh, how how are we doing for time? Oh god, it's starting to the sun's starting to go down. So all right, so what do we want to do in the night? Um, well, probably once I get started, like once I get started for real, I'm probably going to end up doing. Oh my goodness, uh, mining expeditions. Like here, I'm just gonna grab some of this coal because I kind of need it. But during the night, like for example, I might actually go into the, oh goodness, that's the old daylight system. Yeah, I'll just, that'll have to do. But um, I'll just put a torch there as well. So, the market. Um, but during the night, it's like when it seems okay to do so, I'll probably end up going on like mining expeditions and yeah, mining expeditions being the main <laughs> being the main thing here. Um, but it there's no real limit to what I could actually do here, assuming that I find the right tools for that job. By the way, old chests, pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna put uh, this all that stuff in here, and let's sleep. Uh. Just for this first recording, though, I mean, need do need some time to get started. All right, now, uh, all right. Well, I need short-term goals, so let's start with. I need to go get to that skeleton because hopefully he's dropped bones, and if he's dropped bones, then I can. Yes, he did. Two even. Awesome. Uh, and also, I am kind of annoyed at the, uh, where is it, uh, eye candy, old drop die, oh, so I'm actually just in fast mode, there, now yeah, it looks like it does in today's Minecraft, uh, anyway, uh, where, where was I going with that, oh yeah, so bones, as we know, they make bone meal, and currently I do not know of any other place where you can we can get seeds. We can get seeds, we can get wheat. Where will you get the point? So I think for the, today's episode, I'm gonna um uh, I should make well first let's grow some of this. Uh, yeah, let's just grow some of this and hopefully we can find some seeds here. That's one. I think three, four, six. Six! Wow, that, that is a decent start. And I'll just uh, grab these flowers too. 
because I may, may as well make the place just a little bit pretty. Alright, anyway. So, we have, we have a um, little bit of a waterfront here, I suppose, or something. So let's uh, just dig out a little bit of a And oh, actually, I will just place that there just so I have some way to get up without trampling on my crops. But right, let's uh, quickly make a, a hoe. Oh, whoops. One, two, three, four. Okay, time to farm. Put the flowers away. All right. All right. So let's uh, make these. Place these down, and let's use the bone meal just so we can get some more. I think that's telling me that I actually have to place these off uh, while I'm off off of them. So <laughs> uh, something to learn for the future. And that didn't even give me any uh, seeds. All right. Anyway, well that that started, and now I know a little bit more. What I'm going to do here is, like, well, let's make the bread. Let's make some bread. Oh, wow, this, the bread has an outline. Don't remember that being the case before. And I'll just put that in my inventory. Um, let's make some signs as well, just, just so I can make myself some reminders. I uh, just uses the new sign format so oh all right so uh reminders don't walk on farm beds and i'll just make the others blank for now because yeah I'll, I'll, I'll think of some more to put there. And I'll <coughs> Pardon me. Alright. Uh, right, let's put the, the wood back. And Oh. There's one sign remaining. Let's grab that sign actually. And... Simon's Hardcore Shack. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds funny, but it does. Okay, so I'm going to finish this when it becomes night time. And the reason for that is that it would, it's probably, it would probably be a good idea to have at least the exciting night time adventure stuff at night. I mean, have that all that first. Yeah, because that'll be all exciting and stuff, and then. And then after that, we get to have, uh, you know, daytime construction stuff. I am the best at speaking. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just my own opinion. Yeah, then. Um, that does mean, though, that I'll have to be concerned about my health a lot. And I'll probably have to remember how old mobs work. Like, I think you guys, I don't know. But say they move, they seem to move like the the current Minecraft mobs. But I'm not so sure. Anyway, let's 
Yeah, let's just do some exploring then, and let's see what kind of things our world has to offer. Right, there seems to be a cave here. Yes, there is. So let's put a torch there, and a torch there. Up there, just so I can, s well, hopefully see light, and be drawn to it, because I am a moth, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's starting to get a little bit warm today. Uh, what else? What else is here? Let's see. I'm at depth. How oh, well? I'm at height. Seventy. I don't know, but I thought I saw lava for a moment. So yeah, I guess there's sixty-four layers of underground which is something that I'll need to explore. And I believe I did set it up so that new ores are generated. And by that I mean like or ores that were not in classic. Even though you couldn't mine in classic, like you didn't get anything back from it and stuff. But things like uh, coal and iron were already in this game, and gold, I believe. So, now we have the opportunity to get stuff like diamond, or <laughs> lapis lazuli if we're unlucky. Or iron, lapis, a uh, diamond, lapis, what else? I feel like there's a couple more things that are really important to mention. Uh, emerald, although there's not, not a real use for them because we're not going to run into villages here. And <laughs> actually, I would be very, very surprised if, if there was if there was a village generated on here. And I think you do have that option in um, in NBX Light worlds. Uh, not this one, obviously, because there's not enough room, but there is the option to generate a... to generate structures. So, if you were lucky, you could, uh, fi you could, you could find a stronghold like you do in uh, regular... In, like you do in current Minecraft. Or dungeons, and stuff like that. Which, actually, would be kind of interesting, to be completely honest. But that's not what we're doing. That's not what we're here for. Basically, oh, what was that? Just a little bit of lag. Um, part of the reason that I decided to start this series is because I know that it's going to be finite because I defined the world as finite. So I figure once I've either made it into the never. Or, or I've exhausted everything I can of this place, uh, or you know, I basically conquered, explored the whole thing. Then I'm gonna end the series there. But I mean, we'll just have to see how it goes, of course. Uh, just getting. Oh god, it's starting to get dark already. Alright, but that's okay because we just finished mining the coal, so um... Let's make our way to one of the caves, and I'm gonna end the episode there. So, this is uh, Simon for well playing uh, Minecraft Classic. Well, sort of. I'm gonna call it Mine Classic because it's got a nice ring to it, and because that's what I named my first attempt of the series. And join me next time when we go and start exploring us some caves. There was one in particular that I wanted to start with, but I can't find it now. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys next time. Wee. <laughs> And of course, while I say that, I haven't actually stopped recording, so, um, I don't know. Here we go. Alright. Now, see you guys next time. Whoop, 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 whoop.